On this episode of TFL Camper Corner, I'm going to show you an affordable aluminum toy hauler trailer that's called the Baja. Yes, this trailer has a lift. It's very, very unique and it has a lot of cool features, including air conditioning. So if you want to go into the desert and actually bring your toys with you, and this trailer is light enough to be towed by most half-ton trucks. I wouldn't recommend a mid-sizer to tow this, but um, I'll also at the end let you know exactly how much this trailer weighs altogether with uh, full load. It also has an incredible payload capacity. So let me tell you all about it. When you're bringing your toys to the desert or anywhere for that matter, uh, well, you do need to be able to access some of those trails. So this Legend Explorer Series aluminum trailer, this toy hauler, um, is actually very special. The guys at CompleteTrailers.com are working with Legend and they have given this particular trailer model a suspension lift, or actually a, a frame lift, so to speak, and put bigger tires. These are General Grabber ATs all terrains. And let's see, these are 245, 75 R16s and they're very aggressive tread, obviously, so they have good traction. Of course, these wheels are not powered, but still, let's look at the, uh, the ground clearance right here to the frame and see approximately what we're talking about. The trailer is mostly level right now, and right here to the frame, it's about 18 inches here and about 15 inches here. And it's not a very long trailer, and do this here, about 17 inches here. Uh, so that means it doesn't have big overhangs, especially in the back. So take a look here. The overhang is actually pretty small. So you can get into some interesting areas. I wouldn't recommend taking this on the Rubicon Trail, of course. It's not meant for that. If you're doing some serious off-roading, you need a single axle, you know, kind of a small off-road trailer. But this trailer is meant for bringing your toys into the wild and it has and this is pretty surprising about 5300 pounds of payload so you can put quite a big uh, big and heavy toy in here so let me show you this door right here and this door of course is a very heavy duty door and as you can tell the wheels and the fenders are kind of stick out to the side so you actually you can tell this trailer with a smaller vehicle Something like a mid-size or a full-size SUV uh, can also tow it, so you can see all the way around the trailer. It's very useful. Here, between the frame rails, you have about 74 inches, so about six foot two. And as you know, most actually high-performance side-by-sides, like the Polaris Razor uh, Turbo S or Pro XP, they can be up to about 72 inches wide from the factory. So it's gonna be a tight fit if you're having this high performance machine uh, being carried here, but you can also carry older off-roaders, maybe a CJ Jeep, uh, maybe another small off-roader um, because it has enough payload capacity to handle even a giant four wheel drive vehicle or several motorcycles for that matter. As you can see, the ceiling is very tall so if you do have some sort of a rack on your off-roader um, or your side-by-side, -side, this will fit. I'm just over 6'2", and you can tell, as you can tell here, I have a lot of space. You have windows on both sides, LED lights everywhere. Right now, this trailer is connected to the truck, so it's getting a little bit of power from the truck. There's also shore power. So if you do have a truck like this, with F-150 hybrid, that has an inverter system, you can actually use um, that juice from the truck to power anything you want because you have your 110 outlets down here as well. And most importantly, if you're going to the desert, uh, you have this. So during the day when it gets hot, you have an AC system uh, air conditioner here. And for the length on this particular model, this is a 14 footer measured to this area right here. There's also this wedge section in the front. This provides up to about two feet of additional space and a little bit different aerodynamics, of course. And then there's, of course, the tongue of the trailer 
sticking out front. So this is a 14 plus two. And of course, you still have to calculate a little bit of space for the tongue on the outside to get the total length on this trailer. In the back of the trailer, there are these actually aluminum, very lightweight legs. So if you're loading something and you need additional support and stability, you can actually lower the legs down and help that help your loading process. Or if you're somewhere for the day and you want a stable platform to maybe to work on your vehicle, this is also a really good way to do it. Finally, you have storage on top of it. So uh, let me climb this. So there is this ladder on this side, on the driver's side, and there is uh, this storage rack up here. And you can actually stand on here. So not in the front of the trailer, but in this section right here where their storage rack is. So here's that number I was talking about, 5,355 pounds of total payload on this Legend trailer. And um, you can see right here, gross vehicle weight rating for the trailer is 7,000 pounds. Yes, so it has two 3,500 pound axles, which means that this trailer with nothing inside of it, just by itself, weighs about 1,700 pounds or less. So if you're moving this trailer somewhere, you can use pretty much any mid-size SUV, something like a 4Runner uh, with 5,000 pounds of towing can handle it. And then anything that's rated at 7,000 pounds, maximum trailer weight will be able to tow this. So that means there are vehicles like the Ford Expedition, the Chevy Tahoe, the Nissan Armada, Toyota Sequoia, any of those SUVs. You cannot use, of course, the Ford Bronco won't handle this. Uh, the Jeep Wrangler won't. Of course, those are rated at about 3,500 pounds of maximum towing. So I would recommend a Hefton truck like the F-150, Chevy Silverado 1500, Ram 1500, the Tundra or Titan, or a full-size SUV to actually tow this trailer and be set up and ready to go. And if you want, you could also mount a weight distribution hitch on this tongue because the tongue is actually relatively long and those aluminum rails are nice and convenient for adding accessories. And finally, the price on this trailer is about $22,000. So yes, you're getting a lightweight aluminum trailer fully covered with air conditioning, insulation, off-road tires. It's a little bit higher off the ground than other models. And you're getting all of that with a storage system and the rack and etc. Um, and I think it's a reasonable price considering what you're getting. Protection from the elements, easy to tow trailer, it's really narrow, so most vehicles can actually handle it. There you have it. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com and tfloffroad.com for all the latest news views and real world truck and trailer reviews.